Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to another review video. In this video, we're taking a deep dive into this right here, the Moonshine Vesper 4 weight 9 foot fly rod. Let's get into it. All right, so before I start this review, I have to let you guys know that Moonshine did send me this Moonshine Vesper fly rod and the Moonshine Creed reel to test and review, but in no way are we required to be positive about this product or any other product on this channel. In fact, Moonshine in particular tells us that we should be as critical as possible because they use reviews like ours and comments like yours to better their product with every iteration almost every single year. So with that out of the way, let's get started and let's talk first about how I was fishing the Moonshine Vesper four weight fly rod. So like I said, I have this hooked up with the Moonshine Creed number 34 reel, and I have that spooled with some Rio Perception fly line. And this whole setup has been one of my favorites. I've been fly fishing here around Northwestern Montana, mostly in small creeks with this one, but I also took it out to some larger rivers and I even fished it in some of the small mountain lakes up here. And yeah, I've just been loving this setup. It's the perfect setup. If you're gonna go with the Moonshine Rod, you might as well pick up a Creed Reel because they're beautiful reels and really well priced. But I'm not gonna talk too much about the reel in this review video because we'll have another review video which I'll link to up here. And you guys can check that out once it's live. So next up, I wanna cover the build and construction of the Moonshine Vesper four weight nine foot fly rod. So we'll start down here in the reel seat. Um, this is just a stunning looking reel seat. They have this kind of tobacco tiger print insert here that really adds character to the rod. And it's a double ring uplocking reel seat. And like I said, this is just a nice looking reel seat and it's functional. I like that they have the two rings, really make sure the reel stays in there secure while you're fly fishing and you're out on the water. And the reel seat itself, is a nice sealed aluminum and that means that you're not going to have any problem fishing this thing in salt water it is salt water ready down there so that's perfect so next up we'll move up on the rod to the cork grip this is really really high quality cork they call it quadruple a cork on their website all i can say is there's basically no imperfections at all in the cork so you know they're using premium cork and they've used some rubberized cork on the butt and on the tip of this cork handle that's kind of a half wells grip which i really like it fits my hand perfectly i have pretty average hands for a guy who's six feet tall and i find it really ergonomic to hold on to and it's the kind of grip that you just expect from any four weight fly rod it's just the perfect style of grip to put on here moving up on the fly rod we'll talk about the blanks this is where Moonshine really shines and they talk about it all the time. They say, you know, we spend all of our money creating these rods on the part that matters most and that's the blanks. And they really do have beautiful blanks on all their fly rods, especially in the Vesper series. So these blanks are anti-glare and they say they have midnight bindings, but that just means that basically all the thread wraps around the eyes and ferrules are black. And they also have these really nice metallic copper accents around them as well. And each section of the rod has those handy alignment dots that really do make it easier and faster to set up your rod, which is always nice to have on any rod. The blanks themselves are made with super high modulus nano matrix carbon fiber. And these blanks, like I said, this is where these, these rods really shine. What I love about this rod in particular is the blank recovery rate. When you cast this thing forward, it immediately straightens out to its former form. And it, they just are really high quality. They have the perfect like hyper light swing weight to them. And yeah, once you have this in your hands and you cast it, you'll see what I'm talking about. They really are phenomenal blanks. Next up, moving up to the stripping guides, they have solid titanium frame SIC stripping guides on the Vesper series of fly rods. And then further up, they have light wire single foot guides. And there are 10 single foot guides in total running up the nine foot rod and one single stripper guide. And moving up to the tip of the rod, it's a super sensitive tip so that you can detect any small strikes. It's firm enough that you can easily roll cast and mend your line while you're on the water. But what I love about Moonshine rods is that you don't just get one tip, you get two. So they include an extra tip section in the tube when you order these rods. And to me, that is just something that every manufacturer should do. It saves fishing trips all the time. I can't count the number of times that I've heard about people who've ruined their entire fly fishing trip by breaking the tip of their rod. It's the most likely place you're gonna break a rod. So the fact that Moonshine includes an extra one for you free of charge is just an amazing, amazing added value to this fly rod. And when you order the Moonshine Vest rods they come in really nice sturdy hard rod tubes that are going to protect it while you're traveling as well and inside there's a nice protective rod sock that has five compartments so one for each of the four parts of the rod plus the extra tip and yeah you can basically rely on this tube you can throw it in the back of your truck and just like any good rod tube you know that your rod's going to be protected in there while you're traveling and out on the water 
So now let's talk about how the Moonshine Vesper 4 weight 9 foot fly rod casts. So what I really like about this rod, as I've already said earlier, is the blank recovery. It really helps, especially my accuracy um, when I'm casting up close I love if the rod doesn't wobble at all if it just straightens right back out you don't lose any of your accuracy up close and and far away as well but I really noticed that I've been casting this rod a lot within a 20 foot spot you know and because it just snaps right back into place you're able to hit those spots 20 to 30 feet absolutely no problem and when you get up to those longer casts let's say 60 feet or so the rod really performs there as well because this is a moderate to fast action blank and it really loads well on your front cast on your power stroke. The rod loads beautifully even without overlining it. So you're really able to keep those tight loops. But because in the lower weights of this rod, they've made it moderate to fast action, that means it's also got a little bit of forgiveness. So if you're like me and your casting stroke isn't always 100% perfect, then it's got that forgiveness and you're still gonna hit your spots even if you don't time everything just right. So the rod is forgiving, but fast action enough that you really can load up that rod and fire that line out there. And one of the main features that I love about casting this rod is the swing weight. This thing is feather light in your hand and it just, you could cast it all day and feel great at the end of the day. I did, I had lots of long fishing days with this thing and there's really nothing I can say wrong about the casting accuracy and the feel of casting this rod and really you have to have one in your hands to feel it, but they truly are wonderful rods to cast. They're just a dream on the water. So on this channel, we always like to make sure that we're trying to include some negative points about every product that we review on this channel. It's getting harder and harder these days because fly fishing companies really have excelled and taken fly fishing products to the next level. But with every product, you can usually nitpick and find some imperfections. And to me, there's only one with the Moonshine Vesper. So I'm gonna list that now. One thing that I didn't love about the Vesper is the first time I took it out and I casted it for the first time, the line for some reason on this matte black finish of the blanks when the line rubs past those blanks it makes kind of a whistling sound and I'll play a little audio of it right here and that sound of course is not taking away from you know the performance of the rod and I don't think it's loud enough to spook fish it's pretty quiet it's just kind of a strange thing that I don't have with any of my other matte black or matte finished fly rods and I really wish th that there's some way to stop that whistling from happening. Um, I'm sure if you got the Moonshine Vesper Euronym fly rod you might not have this thick line on there you might be fishing it with nylon lines in that case you're not going to hear it if you're fishing up close you're not going to hear it but when you start laying the line out there and casting really far it starts to make a little bit of a whistling sound so if there's some way to silence that that'd be great but other than that I really cannot think of anything wrong with this fly rod. So now let's talk about the price of the Moonshine Vesper 4 weight 9 foot fly rod. So actually every single one of the Vesper fly rods come in at $449 and that includes the extra tip. So to me, you know, you're getting a quarter of the rod added on to the price and you get that for free. And to me, that's just a fantastic value, even without the extra tip, really. This rod at $450 with these super high modulus blanks, excellent recovery rate, beautiful design, great high quality cork handle and everything about the rod, the way it casts, the way it fishes. Um, it's just, it's great. So for that price, $450, it's Moonshine's most premium rod. So if you're looking for a bit of a cheaper rod, you might wanna go with the Epiphany series, which are also fantastic rods. And actually Pierre, one of our team anglers did a review of the Epiphanies and I'll leave a link up here for you guys to check out if you wanna check out that rod. But if you're looking for an upgrade to one of the most premium rods at a lower price, the Moonshine Vesper is a great deal. If you're getting rods of this value from some of the higher makers out there, you're probably looking at about $800 to $1,000 for those rods. Moonshine's managed to pack in a lot into a lower price point, and you really do get a lot of value for your money when you purchase these rods. And one of the things I like most about Moonshine as a company is their after sales service. So let's talk about that now. Let's talk about their warranty and after sales service. So Moonshine really is a customer's company. They are putting their customers first every step of the way. They have a lifetime no fault warranty on all their products. So if you break a tip section and then you replace it with the tip section that comes extra and you break another one, you just send it into Moonshine and they'll replace it for a fee. And you also have a warranty if you get any factory default out of the box you can send it back to Moonshine and they'll cover all the costs for you and replace any bits that you know you weren't satisfied with 
And here at Into Fly Fishing, we've actually had to use their after sales service before. We broke a rod and it was to Pierre all the way out in South Africa. And Moonshine actually had another one sent to him within a week or so. I can't remember exactly how long it was, but I know Pierre was blown away because he's tried to get replacement products sent to South Africa from other companies who were not so willing to send it that far. And it's been a hassle for him. Moonshine, that wasn't the case. They send their stuff out right away. They have replacements on hand to help you out. So when you're buying a Moonshine rod, you know you have that customer service and that impeccable warranty backing all their products. Okay, so now I wanna cover a bit about how this rod feels when you're fighting fish. Uh, I was fortunate enough to catch quite a few fish on this rod, uh, fishing up here in the creeks, rivers, and lakes of Northwest Montana. And I didn't catch any massive fish on it. I was fishing mostly smaller flies, a lot of dry droppers and a lot of hopper droppers. I had a couple nice size fish on, maybe 12 to 15 inches, and the rod is perfect. It has enough backbone at the lower end of the rod that you can really, you know, dig into a fish, make sure you're bringing it in quickly. Um, I, I'm sure that you could catch much bigger fish than I was doing on this rod and have no problem with it. And what I love about it, like I said earlier, is that sensitive tip on this four weight, you can really feel the most sensitive strikes. Even if you're just drifting a couple wet flies and the fish take really lightly, you can usually feel that on this rod. I had no problem setting the hook with every single fish that I caught. And because the tip of this rod is so sensitive, it allows you to really protect those light tippets. And I did fish like a six X a few times on this. I caught fish on a six X and I had no problem, never broke any fish off. And that's great. That's something you're always looking for in a good four weight. Next up, let's talk about mending and line control. This is another area I think where the Moonshine Vesper line of fly rods really shine. With that moderate fast action, the tip of the rod is still stiff enough that you can get these beautiful mends on the water and you really have no problem at all controlling your line getting that dead drift wherever you want it to be and really hitting your spots where you want them um, i also was using this a lot for some roll casts when i had you know no back cast space behind me and the tip is stiff enough again that you can really whip it out there get those roll casts even with some strike indicators with triple fly rigs with hopper droppers no problem at all rolling those over and getting them out on the water all right, so lastly, in this review, like we do in all reviews, I just wanna give you guys my personal thoughts and opinions on this rod and who I think it's right for. So I would say if you already have a rod in the lower end of, your, of the spectrum for price and for quality and you're looking for an upgrade, the Moonshine Vesper four-weight nine-foot fly rod is a perfect four-weight rod where you're gonna get a lot more from your money than you would from some of the bigger companies. So if you're looking at a big brand fly fishing company at an $800 rod, you might want to look at the specs of this thing because you might be getting a very similar rod for a lot less money. So it is a really great value rod. I also think that if you already have the Moonshine Epiphany or one of their lower level rods, then the Vesper series is the perfect upgrade in any weight that you go to. And actually this isn't the only weight of Vesper that we've reviewed. I'll leave a link up here as well to another review that we've done. So if you guys want to purchase a Moonshine Vesper or any of the other Moonshine products, I've left some links in the description down below check those out they're affiliate links so we do get a commission if you decide to purchase through them but we do appreciate your support as it really does help to keep this channel going so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified next time we come out with a new video we're coming out with new gear reviews like this every single week we also have the fly fishing in montana vlog series where we're just taking you guys with us fly fishing around northwestern montana and we have a whole host of how-to series like how to get into euro nymphing how to fish in still water and so much more so i hope you guys will subscribe until next time tight lines